so this is using um, beef shank, which is basically a soup bone. It's an off-cut, which I like doing, um, is using a lot of off-cut meat um, from the farm because, you know, they're selling the tenderloin, they're selling the chuck and other things like that for ground, for meatloaf and things, or uh, burger meat and things like that. So um, this is the, uh, the beef shanks are right over here on the cutting board, and they come with a beautiful marrow bone in it. Um, Tim raises heritage breed, breed beef, um, and you can just see that by looking at um, the marbling that's in the meat, the beautiful marrow that's here, the beautiful size of the of the um, the flesh that's around the bone. I don't think when you see the when you see sort of commodity raised beef in the grocery store that you see such beautiful um, meat. So basically, I cut the meat off away from the marrow bone, and um, we're going to make a rosemary garlic gin, um, chili butter to, to rub on the marrow bone, and and we roast those separately because they only need about 30 minutes in the oven. And um, in order to get the marrow to cook all the way through and not disintegrate. So the, the shank has been braised with red wine, demi-glace, shallots, garlic, um, some fresh herbs, rosemary, thyme, and sage. And basically it's a really simple recipe, just all thrown together in a, in a pan and then covered in, and roasted for about three and a half to four hours. Um, this was chilled overnight, so we're going to reheat it slowly for the next hour and a half until our class arrives tonight. Um, and, you know, stews are always better the next day. So um, that's what we did with the braised beef shank. My name is Samantha Baskus, and you're watching me on rochesterfoodnet.com. Thank you.